Hi, and welcome to Happy Crafting with V. I'm V, and I'm going to show you how to make fun crafts without breaking the bank. Holidays are coming. What better way to have the kids get excited as well with you than to make a countdown or an advent calendar? Now, traditionally, we buy the advent calendars from the store, and every day we open up a little window and get a not so great piece of chocolate. This year, I decided to make my own advent calendar and fill it with something other than treats. I think you can agree that we've all had enough treats up until now, and I know that there's gonna be a lot more as we approach Christmas time. Not only is this advent calendar a little bit different than what we're used to, it's also a beautiful addition to the decoration that you will be putting up anyway for the holiday season. Let's get started. For this craft, we're going to need some twine to hang our advent gifts up. We're gonna need something to decorate them with, whether that be stamps or stencils. Uh, so you're gonna need some paint and or a uh, stamp pad with colors, whatever you decide to choose. Uh, we're gonna need something to hold our gifts in. So here I have some bags, craft color, or some craft color pillow boxes as well. You can really decide what uh, will fit your gifts better or just what you prefer to use or whatever your local dollar store has on hand. Uh, finally, we need some command strips. I find that this is the best way to hang uh, this advent calendar uh, or you don't have to hang it at all. You can uh, put it in boxes or just uh, have your child find them, uh, whatever is best to use for you. So the first thing that we need to do is decide what we want to put our gifts in. So the dollar store is a great resource. They have wonderful bags, to use pillow boxes, uh, you can really use anything. Um, you just really need to decide what your treat is gonna fit in um, and really what's available to you. So um, we have little bags here. It's best to use craft, I find, or you can use white uh, or just plain uh, bags just because it's better when we go ahead to decorate. So this is what the bag looks like. I think that's a great, um, a great idea. But also I think today I'm gonna go with the pillow boxes. The pillow boxes are great um, just because they can fold up. You could put something maybe a little bit thicker um, in there. And I just really quite like the way that this looks. It looks quite festive and fun to me. So the first thing that we're gonna do, regardless of what uh, container we choose to use, whether it be a pillow or a bag, is we need to put some holes in these bags, uh, just so that it's easier to hang if you do decide to hang it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this hole punch. Uh, I could only find a three hole punch, but really, uh, if you have the single hole punch, that would work much better. So I'm just gonna put it in and make a hole. And on this side, make a better hole like that. And there you go. So I've done one on the bag and I've done one on the pillow just to see, uh, just to see what I like better. Um, just so you can also see what that looks like. So I'm gonna decorate two different ways just to show you uh, really there are many different ways to decorate. This might be easier for kids if you have smaller kids. Uh, you might want them to help out, uh, just be a part of the fun. So I'm just gonna use this little stamp. I got this stamper and this stamp head at the dollar store. It came in a pack of about 12, maybe even more, um, along with the stamp pad. So this is a great uh, economical way to decorate and to incorporate the kids in um, festive planning. So I'm just going to Go on the stamp pad, make sure I got enough on there. And I'll just decorate my, my bag however I want to. This, again, might be a lot of fun for the kids. I'm going to do one design per pillow or one design per bag just because I want to make a bit of a, a pattern. Uh, this is also, you could, this activity can also be extended uh, for patterning. There's a uh, math right there. So anyways, this is a fun... Um, fun way to get the kids involved. Uh, and it, it's already looking pretty good. It's already looking pretty fun. I'm gonna leave a little bit of an area because I wanna put the numbers uh, one through 24 so that every day uh, the kids know which one they're gonna open. All right, now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the pillow. So I'm gonna take my stencil and I'm just gonna put it right on top. And I will take some paint and tap, 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 make sure you have it pretty tight on or else it's gonna, oops, or else it's gonna go, it's gonna spread. So we'll do it nice and tight. 
if you have the time, you can tape it down um, and go nicely, but I'm just gonna do this quick just to show you. Get some more paint on there. Okay, and once that's done, I will peel it off and we have a little treat. Once you have finished decorating all of your bags or boxes, pillow boxes, whatever you've decided. Um, as you can see here, I did some snowflakes, some reindeer, some Christmas trees, and some Santa hats. Now I added a couple um, embellishments just so it wasn't so plain with my finger. I just went ahead and spotted um, the little puff on the back um, as well as the, the trim of the hat. Um, on the Christmas tree, I just added Hopefully you can see that, just little red balls and little red noses for the reindeers so that they're Rudolph now, uh, just to make it a little more fun and a little bit more fancy. Um, again, these don't have to be perfect. We're, the idea here is just to make some fun. It adds a little de uh, decoration to the house for the holidays. And also it's a great idea to have the kids involved. So it's not about the product, it's the process. Uh, so now that we're all done uh, and I've added the numbers uh, so that uh, we know which box to open each day. Um, now we need to fill our boxes. So here I just bought some mittens. Uh, you can add granola bars, tiny little books. Uh, these are all great things that we can get at the dollar store um, or really anything you have left over. Um, it, it, or uh, a great thing to do is uh, maybe activities that you can do together as a family. So let's say night one, you open it up and you know, you're gonna read together a Christmas book or maybe you're gonna go caroling or you're gonna go to a shelter and or a food kitchen, whatever, whatever you and your family decide. Uh, this is just, the ideas are endless here. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, one of my boxes here and I'm just going to fold in one side like that. And then I'm gonna add my mittens into that. And I'm gonna close it up. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same for the rest of my boxes. So now that our boxes are all filled, they're all ready to go, now it's time to hang them up. So I'm going to cut a big piece of twine and with those holes that we made earlier on our pillow boxes or your bags, we're going to feed them through the twine. Now, I did up to 12 to do the 12 days of, 12 days of Christmas, but please do 24 if that works best for your family, if that's what you're used to. Uh, so starting from your last number, whether it be 12 or 24, we're going to go backwards and we're going to feed the twine through, in, and out like that. There we go. So we hang it up, it's gonna hang like this. And we're gonna feed it all the way through to the other side. This might be messy as the twine can get a little bit messy. Okay, pull that through. There. And now we'll move on to the next one. So we have number 11 and we're going to feed it in through here. Oops. And through here. There we go. And again, we're gonna feed it all the way through. going to continue on until we have all of our boxes on of our on our pillow. So now that our pillow boxes are safely on our twine, ready to be hung, we're going to go ahead and put our command hooks on our wall. So I like to keep my command hooks on in specific parts of my house all year round because I love decorations and I love making crafts with my kids. So it's always nice to have somewhere to put them up. Uh, I like to keep them in my kitchen or along uh, banisters or wherever you have space, um, but let's hang it up. So as you can see, I already have some command hooks up um, in my entryway to my kitchen and my living room. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my boxes there. 
And here it is all hung up, ready to go for the 12 or 24 day countdown to Christmas or anything really else that you want to count down to. Happy crafting!